Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we had a horrible accident that happened in Ketchikan, Alaska, claiming the life of one person and injuring three and possibly more damage coming in the future. I also have a report on the Carnival Vista because she was supposed to be fixed before leaving port and guess what? She's not. Royal Caribbean ordering another ship and perhaps two more Icon class ships as well. We also have four people arrested for trying to do fraudulent credit cards on a cruise. That's always a smart idea. And then Bar Harbor back in the news again. They're looking to make contracts with cruise lines. Uh, yeah, they're going to limit them, but then they want, they're going to make contracts with them. But wait till you hear one of the details of that contract. So in Ketchikan, Alaska, they had a landslide that ran into one end of the town knocking over uh, one of the buildings that are there it looks like as well as unfortunately a person passed away and three others were injured when they were caught in this landslide uh, they've also identified another area that could landslide as well with the wet season that's hitting them right now not a particularly great time in Ketchikan the good news is there, the, the community is very tight-knit and a lot of the businesses and local town people and everything come together. There is a shelter for people because they've had to evacuate other houses in the area that are right on the brink of this other area that may collapse. And so they do have shelters set up for people and there's lots of donations going in as well as the, the town is helping to look after and make sure those people are, are taken care of during this time when they figure out what's happening with the landslides. There's been an awful lot of landslides near the towns in Alaska lately, as we know, with the White Pass Railway having, having a landslide covering it this year. We had uh, the dock close last year because of landslides. It's, it's been really a, a terrible time for folks living in that area. And uh, this one, unfortunately, somebody lost their lives. So condolences to the friends and family and everybody in Ketchikan right now. Next, let's talk about the Carnival Vista. Well, before she left Port Canaveral, she was supposed to be having those repairs done and everything was supposed to be fine. But just when they were setting sail, passengers started receiving messages that their current itinerary, while well, they're not gonna miss any ports, they're gonna have to shorten some of the time in those ports because uh, they haven't quite repaired those issues yet. They're still working on a plan to continue repairs on what's happening on the ship. So some of the ports have been lowered the time that have been there. You were supposed to, some of them as much as two hours, one is one hour. Um, and of course they will be leaving the final destination one hour earlier just to make sure that they can get back to Port. Luckily, this is a closer itinerary than their last one, but who knows going forward when they start heading to a further itinerary, whether or not this ship is going to have the repairs done or not and how much it will affect those people sailing on September 1st on this cruise ship. I'll keep you notified when I find out. Next, let's talk about Royal Caribbean. Talk about the uh, largest cruise ships in the world. They already have the Icon of the Seas. They've got the Star of the Seas coming out next year. They have a third Icon class coming out in 2026. And now they've ordered a fourth Icon class ship to come out in 2027. Also, they have two more options that they can order two more of these Icon class ships. Very interesting considering we also heard them talking about building smaller ships that now they have an option out there to possibly have six Icon class ships out there and eight Oasis class ships out there. That like just the amount of passengers on those ships is mind blowing. But there you go. They're not really varying away from the success they've had with the Icon and the Oasis class ships at this time anyway. Next, let's talk about some people who went on board the MSC cruise ship and 
thought the uh, ideal way to get some money is to go into the casinos and put money on credit cards and then cash out. And because we all know when you go on a cruise ship, when you uh, go to collect your winnings in the casino, they pay you in cash. They don't issue you a check or anything like that, unless you're like a big winner that you won like the $20,000, then you might get a check then instead of the cash. But if you go in, you win $1,000, you go and cash out, they'll give you $1,000 in cash. Well, they tried to put the you know credit cards through and charge money on their slot machines, and apparently they were caught. Four different individuals, all caught, varying ages from ages 28 to 38. So they're not young teenagers, they're adults, and they were caught. They were told uh, right away they were suspected that this was happening. They were using fraudulent cards. And so they notified the port authorities in the Bahamas not to let these people off the ship. So they didn't get off the ship. And when they arrived back in Miami, they were placed under arrest and brought to jail. So yeah, awaiting fraudulent credit card charges on the ship, trying to rack up numerous, numerous charges and cash them out. Just because it's a cruise ship doesn't mean it's any easier than say Las Vegas security is. So I would not try this at home, folks. Don't try this at home. And finally, let's talk about Bar Harbor because it's kind of funny. Bar Harbor now is looking to possibly make contracts with cruise lines that um, have a certain little feature in it, but we all know that Bar Harbor is uh, voted to limit the amount of passengers per day to 1,000. Cruise ships are not allowed to have more than 1,000 passengers uh, going forward in a, by next year going into Bar Harbor. Well, now they're looking to sign contracts with various cruise lines and you know, possibly, maybe they are allowed to bring more in if they sign a contract. Uh, we don't know the details of that part of the contract, but it definitely states on there that, yeah, you can have this contract, you can come here and everything, but you have to promise never to sue the town of Bar Harbor. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, um, please come and visit us and everything, but hey, uh, you're, you, you definitely, if we decide to not let you come in, then, then you can't sue us. Uh, even though you might lose money and you might have to pay passengers, etc. You might have to pay thousands of dollars to your passengers because you're skipping a cruise port. Um, you, you can't sue us. It looks like they're trying to circumvent their own rules. I don't know what's happening in Bar Harbor. I don't think Bar Harbor knows what's happening in Bar Harbor. But there you go. Another wrinkle, if you will, in the story of the limiting of cruise ships in Bar Harbor. Well, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think, uh, you know, would, would six Icon class ships, are you looking forward to six more of the biggest cruise ships in the world, possibly, in the next eight, five years? That's, that's kind of incredible. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.